Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So in today's class, we will be going ahead and we will be talking about Don Bush overshooting model, right? So the aim is to go ahead and understand one, why exchange rate overshoots and two, how equilibrium is reached in an economy in the long run. This is a very, very, very important model from the point of view of your exam. It definitely exam may aiga hi aiga. Ye bohat hi zyada important model. So let us try to go ahead and let us try to see what this is saying. Some books will write this as exchange rate overshooting model. Kuch books is ko exchange rate overshooting model bhi bolti hai. And some books will write this as Don Bush overshooting model. Dono ek hi baat hai. Both mean the same thing. It is called as Don Bush overshooting model because it was developed by Don Bush. So whether you write it as Don Bush overshooting model or whether you write it as exchange rate overshooting model, both essentially mean the same thing. Dono ka matlab same hi hai. Okay, let's start. So I will explain you the base of this model ka, and then we will go into the whatever is written as part of my notes. First, we will understand what this model is trying to say. So try to understand. Suppose I tell you that there is in Acha. So we have already looked into the asset pricing model. And uh, you know, we have seen the asset or portfolio model. And we have seen that any individual will keep his funds in three parts. Teen hisso me apne peso ko apne funds ko rakha jada. And we have seen that that is going to be number one, the money you hold in cash, number two, the domestic bonds, and number three, the foreign bonds. So any individual will go ahead and hold his money in these three forms. In three forms ka part hoga, right? Now you need to go ahead and you need to understand that suppose there is change in any of the factors. We have factors ki baat ki hai. We have talked about interest rate, expected appreciation of the currency, etc, etc, etc. We have talked factors ki humne baat ki hai. So whenever there is going to be change in any of those factors, we have seen that the composition change ho jayega. The composition in, in which these three assets are held, that will go ahead and change. So now what I want to go ahead and suggest is the following. Suppose, beta, let's say that there is increase in the supply of money by the government uh, due to, say, some open market operation. Koi open market operation hota hai, jiski wajah se OMO, right? Jiski wajah se the government goes ahead and increases the supply of money in the economy. Now, can you think about what will happen when the supply of money increases in the economy? So, if I just go ahead and take this as the supply of money and I take this as the demand of money, I will put it as MD. So, when the supply of money in the economy increases, agar hum money supply ko increase karenge, so we will go ahead and we will see that there will be a decrease in the interest rate in the economy. Economy mein jo interest rate exist kar raha hai, wo decrease ho jayega. That will decrease. And when the interest rate in the economy will decrease, so people will make some changes in the portfolio that they hold. So agar meri economy kam interest rate de rahi hai, if interest rate in my economy is decreasing, so what will I go ahead and see? I will notice that people will go ahead and hold less of domestic bonds and they will start going towards the foreign bonds. Isn't it? So we understand that people will hold less of domestic bonds and go towards more of foreign bonds. And they will, because they want to invest in foreign bonds, to isse kya hoga? there will be increase in the demand of foreign currency. Agar foreign bonds chahiye, to you need to use foreign currency for that. And when there will be increase in the demand of the foreign currency, then this is going to go ahead and this is going to mean that there is going to be depreciation of domestic currency. And at the same time, there will be appreciation of foreign currency.
तो जो हमारी डोमेस्टिक करेंसी है दैट विल डेप्रिशिएट और जो हमारी फॉरेन करेंसी है दैट विल स्टार्ट एप्रिशिएटिंग इज दैट क्लियर सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट ये एक बेस लेवल इफेक्ट हो गया जो इतना होगा ही होगा नाउ once your currency starts depreciating what will happen beta what does depreciation of currency lead to agar main current account ke through baat karu so when there is going to be depreciation of the currency we understand that there is going to be increase in the net exports net exports increase hona shuru ho jayenge and when my net exports will increase then i understand that you know this is my is curve this is my lm curve तो जब सप्लाई ऑफ मनी डिक्रीज हुई थी द एल एम कर शिफ्टेड बैकवर्ड्स सो इंटरेस्ट रेट सॉरी सप्लाई ऑफ मनी हैड इंक्रीज्ड द एल एम कर शिफ्टेड राइट वर्ड्स सो दिस इज माय आई एस कर दिस इज माय एल एम कर वी हैड इंक्रीज्ड द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी सप्लाई ऑफ मनी को इंक्रीज किया था सो इट मीन्स दैट द एल एम कर विल शिफ्ट टूवर्ड्स द राइट सो देर वुड हैव बीन अ and decrease in the interest rate and increase in the level of the output so when there is this thing when this leads to appreciation of the currency of the foreign currency and depreciation of the domestic currency to iski wajah se net exports badhne shuru ho jayenge aur jab net exports badhne shuru ho jayenge to is curve ka equation ho jata hai y is equal to c plus i plus g plus nx so when net exports will increase the is curve will shift rightwards isn't it the is curve will shift rightwards aur jab is curve rightward shift hoga so it is going to go ahead and increase the interest rate in the economy ab point kya hai what is the point of don bosch overshooting model don bosch overshooting model basically says that this first part that we studied in which there will be changes in the portfolio of an individual jis process se jis speed se portfolio individual ka change hoga this is going to be a very quick process ye ek bahut hi quick bahut hi fast process hone wala hai right but the other part where this net exports will be changing matlab where there is going to be the involvement of the trade of goods this is going to be a slow process right so ye wala jo process hai jo goods oriented process hai this will be a slow process and ye wala jo process hai this is going to be a quick process right am i clear with it now try to understand this in further detail so bachche what is going to happen now जैसे जैसे हमारा आई एस कर राइट वर्ड शिफ्ट होगा और मेरा इंटरेस्ट रेट इंक्रीज होना स्टार्ट होगा सो व्हेन इंटरेस्ट रेट विल इंक्रीज देयर विल बी इनफ्लो ऑफ द कैपिटल एंड व्हेन देयर विल बी इनफ्लो ऑफ द कैपिटल इट विल लीड टू एप्रिसिएशन ऑफ माय करेंसी तो अल्टीमेटली Here there is depreciation of my currency, जिसकी वजह से नेट एक्सपोर्ट बढ़े जब नेट एक्सपोर्ट बढ़े इंटरेस्ट रेट स्टार्टेड इंक्रीजिंग एज इंटरेस्ट रेट विल इंक्रीज देर विल बी सम इनफ्लो ऑफ द कैपिटल वेन देर विल बी इनफ्लो ऑफ द कैपिटल देन इट विल लीड टू एप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द करेंसी अब थोड़ा आगे बढ़ते हैं स्टोरी में सो वी नो दैट देर इज समथिंग विच इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूट्रैलिटी ऑफ मनी इन लॉन्ग रन and neutrality of money goes ahead and says that you know the per so we know that mv is equal to py and in the long run y is at full employment level velocity is unchanged so we usually from the neutrality of money get this that the growth of money should be equal to growth of price jitne se money change hoga price bhi utne se hi change hoga the growth of money and price will be equal to each other and this is called as the neutrality of money ise ko hum neutrality of money kehte hain so if the government here beta if the government here has increased the supply of money in the long run prices will increase by exactly the same amount right price will increase by same amount and we know that exchange rate is given by r by p star r is equal to p by p star so if supply of money increased 
इसकी वजह से प्राइस हैव इंक्रीज्ड बाय सेम अमाउंट लेट्स से सप्लाई ऑफ मनी इंक्रीज्ड बाय टेन परसेंट इससे प्राइस भी टेन परसेंट से इंक्रीज हो गए हैं सो व्हेन प्राइजेस विल इंक्रीज वोंट इट लीड टू इंक्रीज इन द एक्सचेंज रेट आल्सो बाय टेन परसेंट एंड इफ एक्सचेंज रेट विल इंक्रीज बाई टेन सो इंक्रीज ऑफ एक्सचेंज रेट इज कॉल्ड डिप्रीसिएशन ऑफ द करेंसी This is a long run scenario क्योंकि I am talking about the neutrality of money, I am talking about full employment level, so I am talking about long run की long run में ultimately my currency will depreciate by टेन परसेंट मेरी करेंसी का लॉन्ग रन में दस परसेंट से डेप्रिशिएट होना जरूरी है द करेंसी मस्ट डेप्रिशिएट बाय टेन परसेंट इन द लॉन्ग रन फॉर दिस इंटायर सिनेरियो टू बी ट्रू now try to understand in this case that we said that initially when the supply of money is increased currency depreciates later we saw that currency appreciates but in long run beta what is my requirement kya chahiye mujhe long run mein in long run my requirement is depreciation by 10% मुझे चाहिए कि लॉन्ग रन में मेरी जो इकोनॉमी में डेप्रिसिएशन है द करेंसी इट मस्ट डेप्रिशिएट बाय 10% ये देखो लॉन्ग रन में मुझे चाहिए कि करेंसी 10% से डेप्रिशिएट करे तो अगर मुझे देखो ध्यान से समझो डेप्रिसिएशन मींस एक्सचेंज रेट का बढ़ना जैसे ₹60 पर डॉलर से ₹70 पर डॉलर जाता है तो इट इज डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द करेंसी तो डेप्रिसिएशन मींस इट इज इंक्रीजिंग Exchange rate is increasing. Appreciation means exchange rate is falling. Appreciation is like this: rupees sixty per dollar to rupees fifty five per dollar. This is appreciation of the currency. So I want depreciation and appreciation to take place. But जहाँ से मैंने start किया और जहाँ मैं पहुँची, ultimately I require that these two exchange rate in the long run, ये जो gap है, it should reflect depreciation of ten percent. Isn't it? So, so, thoda. It requires that ultimately I need the depreciation of ten percent. पहले ज़्यादा depreciate करना ज़रूरी है. I need a depreciation of more than ten percent so that even after I accommodate this appreciation, then also the net effect is that I have a depreciation of ten percent. Then also the net effect is I have a depreciation of ten percent. This is. Because I require initial depreciation to be more than ten percent, this is called as overshooting. ठीक है? I will repeat the entire thing. नहीं समझ में आया कोई दिक्कत नहीं है. I will go through it again through these pointers. पूरा का पूरा हम दोबारा पढ़ेंगे एक बार. Let's start. It says when any factor changes. Any factor means those factors which we studied in the portfolio approach, like interest rate, foreign interest rate, prices, expectations about the exchange rate. जब कोई भी factor change होता है, when any factor changes, investor reallocate financial asset to achieve new equilibrium or balanced portfolio. तो investors अपने money को re uh, you know they they reallocate the money. So, for example, I have already told you that if interest rate in the domestic economy will increase, then demand of foreign bonds will decrease and domestic bonds will increase. So you will go ahead and you will reallocate your resources. जब भी कोई भी factor change होगा, आप अपने resources को reallocate करोगे. Total stock is very high in investors' portfolio. अब हमें थोड़ा समझना पड़ेगा that when we talk about investors. We are not talking about one investor, two investor. We are talking about economy as a whole. हम पूरी economy की एक साथ बात कर रहे हैं. First thing. Second thing, it is very important to understand that whenever we talk about investments, ये एक period की investment नहीं है. These are the investments over the period of time. ये बहुत time से चल रही investments हैं, right? ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम जितनी भी इन्वेस्टमेंट हुई है दैट इज वॉट इज गोइंग टू चेंज उस पूरी में एक रीअलोकेशन आएगा वेन एवर एनी फैक्टर विल चेंज सो टोटल स्टॉक ऑफ फाइनेंशियल एसेट इज वेरी लार्ज एंड देर इज लिमिटेड इयरली फ्लो 
तो एक साल के अंदर जो फ्लो है दैट इज लिमिटेड किसी भी एक साल में आपका लिमिटेड इंक्रीज या डिक्रीज होगा फ्लो के अंदर बट द ओवरऑल फ्लो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी बिग बहुत ज्यादा ओवरऑल चेंज आने वाला है सो वेन इंटरेस्ट रेट एक्सपेक्टेशन और एनी फोर्स चेंजेस द कॉस्ट एंड बेनिफिट विल चेंज क्विकली ठीक है नाउ बेटा लेट्स गो टू द एग्जाम्पल जो एग्जाम्पल हमें बहुत अच्छे से समझना है ट्राई टू लुक इन टू दिस एग्जाम्पल सो आई एम सेम सपोज देर इज इंक्रीज इन द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी मनी की सप्लाई इंक्रीज हुई है वेन द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी हैज इंक्रीज तो देखो यहाँ पे दिस इज द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी डिमांड ऑफ मनी वेन सप्लाई ऑफ मनी इंक्रीजेस द इंटरेस्ट रेट इन द इकोनॉमी विल डिक्रीज सो इंटरेस्ट रेट इन द इकोनॉमी विल डिक्रीज When the interest rate in the economy decreases, जब interest rate decrease होगा so what will happen? The demand for domestic bonds will decrease. You want to invest in the foreign bonds, so demand for foreign bonds will increase. अब अगर सब लोग ही foreign bonds में invest करेंगे if everybody bond uh, invests in the foreign currency, then this will increase the demand of foreign currency, decrease the demand of domestic currency. तो देर विल बी डेप्रीसिएशन ऑफ द फॉरन करेंसी जो आपकी फॉरन करेंसी है वो डेप्रीशिएट कर जाएगी स्टॉक एडजस्टमेंट इन फाइनेंशियल एसेट आर लार्जर एंड क्विकर देन एडजस्टमेंट इन द ट्रेड फ्लो अब ये मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो ट्राई टू सी दैट देयर इज अ डेप्रीसिएशन इन द डोमेस्टिक करेंसी डेप्रीसिएशन शुड लीड टू इंक्रीज इन द नेट एक्सपोर्ट नेट एक्सपोर्ट इज अ ट्रेड फ्लो the trade flows are smaller and slower but when this interest rate decreased then switching to the foreign bonds right this process is faster quicker and larger bahut sare logo ka ko ekdam se jhatka lagta hai jab interest movements hoti hain aur wo immediately apna portfolio change karte hain so when we talk about people changing their portfolio that is quick but when we talk about these trade flows these are slow we have already studied j curve right so we know from j curve that this is a slow process धीरे धीरे हमें रियलाइज होता है कि ओ गुड्स तो महंगे हो गए हैं पोस्ट डेप्रीसिएशन बाहर से नहीं मंगवाने सो द ट्रेड फ्लो इज स्लोअर बट द फाइनेंशियल एसेट एडजस्टमेंट इज क्विकर रीड दिस आउट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन डिफरेंस इन द साइज एंड क्विकनेस ऑफ स्टॉक एडजस्टमेंट इन फाइनेंशियल एसेट एज अपोज टू ट्रेड बैलेंस इज हैज सम इम्प्लीकेशन तो क्योंकि इन दोनों के बीच में एक डिफरेंस है बिकॉज देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन नंबर वन द स्पीड एट विच फाइनेंशियल एंड ट्रेड फ्लो टेक्स प्लेस नंबर टू द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ फाइनेंशियल वर्सेज ट्रेड फ्लो क्योंकि इनके बीच में एक डिफरेंस है दैट इज वाई दिस इंटायर मॉडल अराइजेस दैट इज वाई वी हैव डॉन बुश ओवर शूटिंग मॉडल इसकी वजह से ही डॉन बुश ओवर शूटिंग मॉडल आता है क्योंकि फाइनेंशियल और हमारा गुड्स मार्केट के जो ट्रांजेक्शन है उसकी स्पीड में बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंस है देर इज अज डिफरेंस एंड ह्यूज चेंज यू नो डिफरेंस इन द स्पीड एंड क्वान्टिटी between the financial transactions and the trade transactions okay in the long run the effect of exchange rate in real market will prevail but in short run changes in exchange rate are likely to reflect only in the stock adjustment to so, short run mein kya hoga na ki in short run sirf jo logo ne ye ek cheez ki ki interest rate decrease hua aur wo domestic se foreign market mein chale gaye सिर्फ ये रिफ्लेक्ट होगा लॉन्ग रन में ये रिफ्लेक्ट भी होगा कि बिकॉज इसकी वजह से करेंसी डिप्रीशिएट हुई है नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स विल इंक्रीज सो द ट्रेड पार्ट विल बी रिफ्लेक्टेड ओनली इन द लॉन्ग रन बट दिस फाइनेंशियल एस्पेक्ट विल बी रिफ्लेक्टेड इवन इन द शॉर्ट रन ओके दिस इज लीडिंग टू एक्सचेंज रेट ओवर शूटिंग मॉडल तो अगर कोई हमसे पूछे इफ समन आस्क यू when will there be no overshooting in the economy no exchange rate overshooting so there will be no exchange rate overshooting if the 
स्टॉक मार्केट द ट्रेड मार्केट द गुड्स मार्केट रिएक्ट एज क्विकली एज द मनी मार्केट अगर गुड्स मार्केट और मनी मार्केट सेम स्पीड से रिएक्ट करेंगे इफ बोथ ऑफ देम विल रिएक्ट एट द सेम स्पीड देर इज नो नीड ऑफ एक्सचेंज रेट ओवर शूटिंग एक्सचेंज रेट ओवर शूट बिकॉज द टू टेक प्लेस एट डिफरेंट स्पीड मनी मार्केट इज वेरी क्विक टू रिएक्ट एंड द गुड्स मार्केट इज वेरी स्लो इन रिएक्टिंग ठीक है अब डायग्राम डाल जाओ बेटा देखो ध्यान से मेरी बात सुननी है इस पूरे में सो ट्राई टू सी दैट there is increase in the supply of money by 10% step 1 because there is increase in supply of money by 10% so initial supply of money 100 tha 10% of 100 hota hai 10 to new supply of money ho jayega 110 so look here initially i am at 100 and then i am at 110 theek hai ji am i clear with this This is reflecting that there is increase in the supply of money. अब बेटा एक बात बताओ. If I go through the quantity uh, money approach, uh, what do we know? We know that M V is equal to P Y. In long run, ये दोनों constant है. So increase in M is equal to increase in P, and this is called as classical dichotomy. or neutrality of money that money only affects the nominal variables and not the real variables so jitne se money increase hua utne se hi prices bhi increase ho jayenge so if price was 100 price will uh, you know do slowly aisa nahi hai price aaj 100 hai aur kal 110 price movement takes place via the goods market right price transaction requires time so price will not immediately increase by 10% it will gradually gradually increase but it will go till 110 it will go till 110 so period t not pe bache the supply of money was 100 price was also 100 then the supply of money increased and price gradually increased to 110 both have to increase by same percent अब आगे देखते हैं ट्राई टू सी डायग्राम नंबर थ्री इन डायग्राम नंबर थ्री व्हाट हैज हैपेन इन द शॉर्ट रन यू नोटिस दैट दिस इज द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी सप्लाई ऑफ मनी हैज इंक्रीज्ड बेटा सप्लाई ऑफ मनी का क्या इक्वेशन है सप्लाई ऑफ मनी का इक्वेशन है एम बाय पी ये सप्लाई ऑफ मनी है एंड डिमांड ऑफ मनी के माइनस एच अब मेरी बात बहुत ध्यान से सुनना इन शॉर्ट रन सप्लाई ऑफ मनी हैज इंक्रीज सो वेन सप्लाई ऑफ मनी इंक्रीज नॉमिनल सप्लाई ये एम बाय पी है तो जब एम बढ़ा तो न्यूमरेटर विल इंक्रीज एंड वेन एम इंक्रीजेस तो एम बाय पी ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस सप्लाई कर शिफ्ट टू द राइट एंड वेन सप्लाई कर विल शिफ्ट टू द राइट तो वी विल रियलाइज दैट the interest rate will decrease theek hai but slowly slowly kya hoga bache price will start increasing kitne tak price increase hoga price will increase exactly by the amount of the increase in the supply of money the increase in price and increase in supply of money will be by the same amount in the long run neutrality of money so if money has not sure where these balloons come from in between and not sure how to even change this uh, this setting if if any of you are aware please go ahead and let me know ha huh? i really want to know where these are coming from okay it has started happening very recently it was not happening earlier very recently it has started popping up okay so supply of money has increased and uh, we know that price will increase by the same amount in the long run so when price starts increasing real money supply starts falling and when it starts falling it go keeps going backward as price increases till it reaches back its original point where real money supply becomes unchanged so you reach back the original level of interest rate so this is what is shown here interest rate will decrease 
and as price starts increasing interest rate starts increasing but mind you this is nominal interest rate in the long run real will remain unchanged right so we are going ahead and going towards the same interest rate i have reached the same interest rate theek hai now let me talk about the exchange rate diagram ye most important diagram hai. try to understand this thing i know that my real exchange rate is going to be p by p star this is my exchange rate formula p by p star from whatever we have studied till now in in this entire chapter we have studied this formula of exchange rate when p increases jaise jaise price increase hoga r should also increase in the long run p has increased by 10% so r should also increase by 10% in the long run p has increased by 10% p 10% se bada hai to r ko bhi 10% se badhna zaruri hai so if i look from initially r was 1 if i look into the final r to finally r is 1.10 1 se leke 1.10 is 10% increase But what is this overshooting all about? ये overshooting क्या है? और यहाँ पे we will go back to what I had taught you. देखो when the supply of money increases, then it will lead to decrease in the interest rate. The demand for domestic bond will decrease. The demand for foreign bond will increase. सबको foreign में invest करना है. When the demand for foreign bonds will increase, this will go ahead and this will mean कि डिमांड फॉर फॉरेन करेंसी हैज इंक्रीज्ड तो आपकी करेंसी डिप्रीशिएट होना शुरू हो जाएगी डिप्रीसिएशन ऑफ डोमेस्टिक करेंसी एंड एप्रीसिएशन ऑफ फॉरेन करेंसी ये हो गया हमारा मनी मार्केट बट एज द डोमेस्टिक करेंसी डेप्रीशिएट्स जैसे जैसे डेप्रीसिएशन होगी स्लोली द स्टॉक मार्केट विल कम इन टू बींग एसेट मार्केट आना शुरू हो जाएगी and we know that depreciation of currency will lead to increase in the net exports as net exports will increase we know that there is going to be increase in the or the shift of the is curve jaise jaise is curve shift hoga then we know that there will be increase in the interest rate as interest rate will increase we know that there will be capital inflow as there will be capital inflow we know there will be appreciation of the currency to so, currency is moving in two opposite direction ek to depreciate kar rahi hai depreciation is shown by increase in the exchange rate aur fir wo appreciate kar rahi hai appreciation means it's shown by decrease in exchange rate aur ye appreciation and depreciation if i take both of them into account post that i require a net 10% depreciation so if finally i need 10% depreciation khud dekho bachche suppose i tell you ki there is this number here and this number here and ultimately i need minus 10 here agar yahan pe plus 2 hota hai then this should be minus 12 so which means that i need a bigger number here to get minus 10 here तो अगर मुझे यहाँ पे नेट नेट माइनस टेन चाहिए और यहाँ पे आई नो दैट देयर इज समथिंग पॉजिटिव तो यहाँ पे इस नेगेटिव नंबर को थोड़ा बड़ा होना पड़ेगा इट हैज टू बी अ लिटिल बिगर टू अकोमोडेट दिस पॉजिटिव चेंज एंड स्टिल गिव मी माइनस टेन सिमिलरली द रिवर्स इफ आई नीड टेन हियर एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट आई हैव माइनस टू हियर आई विल नीड अ बिगर नंबर हियर ट्वेल्व सो द इनिशियल डेप्रीसिएशन will take place by more amount to accommodate the appreciation and still give you a depreciation of 10% to isiliye ye jo initial depreciation hogi this initial depreciation this is going to be by more than 10% this is to accommodate the additional appreciation that will take place and after that appreciation has taken place then the net depreciation will be of 10% and this is the don bush overshooting model isi ko don bush overshooting model bola jata hai okay okay i have explained all of this
सो जस्ट रीड इट थ्रू सो डॉनबुश ओवर शूटिंग मॉडल क्या है वॉट डज इट सजेस्ट द डॉनबुश ओवर शूटिंग मॉडल इज बेसिकली अ मॉडल विच सजेस्ट extra depreciation of the currency so that the later appreciation can be accommodated aur ye appreciation slowly kyu aa rahi hai because the stock market the asset market it is slow to react and after we account for that appreciation so we need a net depreciation of 10% right okay beta thank you